Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is inspired by a video I recently saw made by Laura May Beauty. If I'm not mistaken, that is her name. I will link her channel down below. She showed up on my recommendation feed and she titled it like my Sephora purchases. And I believe she's going back um, year by year and going over her purchases that she's made and kind of revisiting the mindset, the feeling of what those purchases meant for her. My Sephora purchases, I can't do that because I made three purchases online, like that's it. That's my history. <laughs> so I can't necessarily do a Sephora one, but what I will do is look at all of my purchases from all the websites that I normally buy from and we will see what what chaos has ensued from those previous years of purchasing and doing so without any rhyme or reason. Just purchase and purchase and purchase. I'm not gonna lie, this video I did film previously. I start filming and then I'm like, ooh, I'm not even in focus. So my chin was about this level on the frame and you had about this much space up on top, but I will be posting that makeup look because I did this halo eye. Was it? Yeah, it was a halo eye and I, I like the way it turned out. So I will post that look, but the video was just, it was just bad. And in that video, I didn't look at the purchases beforehand. I wanted to be surprised, so it will not be as good a reaction as I would have liked it to be, but we're still gonna be talking about it nonetheless. But for upcoming videos in this series, I will not be looking at the purchases because I, I like the feeling of like being excited to see what the heck I did. So here's the rundown. I looked at Ulta and for some reason they don't have a history beyond 2007 or before 2017 when I know in fact that I've purchased a dozen times before then. You can look back on my YouTube history and know that I've purchased from Ulta before by the hundreds and I don't know where that information is so can't do Ulta. Same thing goes with Macy's and Nordstrom. I used to check out as a guest quite frequently when I started on those websites, so my history is not saved. So we, we won't have information for that in this video, but we do have two Sephora purchases and quite a few of MAC ones. We're gonna go through the orders. I'm gonna start with Sephora since there's only two. The first one was on April 18th, 2014. I forgot what I ordered. I did this video a couple of days ago, so. For this order, I spent a total of $174. I'm not gonna include tax, just shipping, all of that. That's that's not part of it. It's just how much money did I spend on makeup? And the first two things I purchased were the Makeup Forever Aqua Brows. Do you guys remember those things? And I got them in the shade 25 and 10. 10 was too light, 25 was too dark. I don't know. It's like a, it's like a watery pomade. That's basically what it was. A watery pomade in a tube. I also got the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, the trio. That was, I actually had that for a while. Sometimes I used it as a highlighter because it was very subtle. I don't think I'd ever repurchase that again because I have other highlighters that I prefer, but it was a good purchase at the time. Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Highlighter in Opal. Opal was the original, like, everyone was crazy about Opal until Champagne Pop came onto the scene and then it was all about Champagne Pop and then Becca just became Champagne Pop. That's just, that's what Becca is now. Becca is Champagne Pop. But Opal was the original. Shiseido Facial Cottons, I bought four of those. I think I eventually started getting these Shiseido cotton pads from Macy's, but I remember watching haul videos and people would always talk about the Shiseido Facial Cotton squares. And so I guess I purchased four of them because, you know, I was crazy. Next purchase was on June 2nd, 2014. I'm gonna stop saying 2014 because this is all 2014. I spent a total of $76 and I just got two, just, I got two shimmering skin perfectors from Becca again. The first color in Topaz, it's like a very deep golden highlighter, like very deep. 
It's like a golden bronze. That's what that's what it was. And then I also got the shade Moonstone. Moonstone I had the hardest time getting rid of. If my if the cover wasn't broken, I probably would still have Moonstone. I have colors similar to Champagne Pop, but nothing quite like Moonstone in my collection. And so I might repurchase that eventually, like if I'm really missing that shade because I love to like blend that out on my uh, cheekbones and it looks beautiful. I love the finish that it gives my skin, even though it's a lighter highlighter it's got a yellow base so it does complement the skin to blend it up correctly so those are my sephora purchases of 2014. let me just forewarn you my original reaction i was disgusted with myself i did not realize the damage that i did uh, it's a lot it's a lot to handle so i'm gonna like speed i'm gonna speed through this but looking at my history i've purchased from max since 2010 online i've purchased in store a lot earlier than that but it seems that i was okay with saving my information on mac here we go first purchase was on january 9th and i purchased a total of $304 worth of makeup. MAC still seems to have the same problem it, it always did. It takes forever to load. Like, I don't know what all these necessary, like, moving things are. Like, I don't need that. I just need you to show me my purchase history. Thank you. MAC, you need to get, get fixing on this. Like, it's, it's annoying. Okay, here we go. Uh, Retro Matte Lipstick, flat out fabulous. I don't have this anymore. Um, another one in All Fired Up. I gave that one away recently. Cream Sheen in Hang Up. I don't think I have this, but I did like it. Impassion. This is an amplified. Very popular at the time. I do not own it anymore. A Satin in Del Rio. I'm not sure if I still have this. I might, but if not, it is not because I didn't like it. It was because it was bad. It's a pretty color. Matte Lipstick in Heroin. Another cult favorite. Wasn't my favorite. I just bought it because it was popular. Truth, truth be told. Um, I don't own it anymore. I got a blush insert and this surprised me. I didn't realize it was only two bucks and that the palettes were six or eight. So it was either eight or $10 total. That's still kind of expensive for an empty palette, but considering it's MAC, I was, I'm kind of shocked. Satin in Media, I don't have that anymore. A 212 Synthetic Flat Definer Brush. I still have this and have maybe within the past few months have used it to get really close to my waterline. It's a really good brush. I don't know what the heck I was thinking not using that. Pro Longwear Paint Pots, you guys remember these things. <laughs> I used to collect them religiously and then I just kind of was like, eh. Never mind. I got one in the color Quite Natural and it's like a medium tone brown. Eyeshadow refill pans in nylon don't have this one anymore. I don't think. Uh, do I? I'm not sure. I don't think I do. Also have one in Rule. That one I still own. Uh, Nehru, that it's like this very deep navy blue. I don't own it anymore, but it was a pretty shade. Orb, I do not own anymore. And then I purchased the Pro Palette, the large one for the blushes, I'm guessing. If memory serves me correct, I think that was for the pro sculpting thing that I got. Or maybe it was for blushes at one point and then I eventually just used it for those things. I don't remember. Stop talking if you're not sure. I got the shadow in red brick. I still own that. Free to be, I do not own. Antiqued, I still own. Shroom, I don't. I don't, I didn't understand the hype between, uh, of shroom. Don't kill me. A jest, I don't own. Mystery, I still do. Foley, I'm not, I'm not sure if this is the one that I gave away, but it's a purple color. It's pretty, but I think if I gave, if I gave it away, it was because I had something else in a different palette that was similar. Next color is Blackberry. Do not own this one. Ground Brown, I still own. And a matte lipstick in Sin. That's a very popular shade, but I don't, I'm pretty sure I don't own that anymore. Uh, I might have given that one to my aunt. So again, spent $304. Next was on October 3rd. This was a pretty big jump, but uh, eventually you're going to figure out like it means nothing. Okay. This is like, what, 10 months, nine, nine, 10 months afterwards. Doesn't matter. 
here's why. This purchase that I made was uh, in the amount of $496. I was so shocked when I saw this amount. Like I knew that I spent this kind of money and I've said it before, but to see it like in front of your eyes and then see what follows, it's disturbing. Let's go over it, shall we? Matte lipstick in Living Legend. Don't own, recently gave that away. Matte lipstick, Fashion Revival, don't own. Uh, I think most of these are gonna be matte, so I'm just gonna, if the if the finish changes, then I'll mention it. La Vie en Rouge, I don't have that. Damn Glamorous, gave that one away. Nouvelle Vogue, don't have. Brick Ola, I'm not sure if I have this, but it is a pretty shade. I just don't, I can't recall. And this one is an amplified. And then I got a cream sheen in Modesty. This one, again, I'm not sure, but it's a beautiful shade. So if I don't have it, it's because it was bad. Lip Pencil in Whirl, I still have. I still have it. Why am I going to get rid of that? Amplified and Chatterbox gave to, I'm pretty sure, my, my best friend. And I, I'm pretty sure the same thing with this matte lipstick in Lady Danger. I'm pretty sure I gave it to her. Wait, I think I gave her Sushi Kiss as well. That's a satin lipstick and Shy Shine and Luster. I don't know what I did with that, but I know I don't have it. Matte Lipstick in Dangerous, recently gave that away. Relentlessly Red, recently gave that away. A Lip Pencil in Lasting Sensation. I believe this is an orange lip liner. If it is, I still have it. A Satin Lipstick in Amorous. This is a beautiful shade. Not sure if I have it, but I would keep it if it was still good. And same thing with Cosmo. I remember liking Cosmo, and this is an amplified lipstick. Viva Glam 6, I don't think I have that. I'm, I know I have one or two Viva Glam lipsticks. Let me just, let me take that back. I know I have one or two Viva Glam lipsticks left. I'm just not sure which shades they are. In this purchase, I bought Viva Glam 6, Viva Glam 4, Viva Glam 5, and Viva Glam 2. Out of all the Viva Glams, Number two is, I think it still continues to be my favorite. I think five is the glossy one. I like then that one as well, but I think I'm still gonna hold true to Viva Glam 2. That rhymed. Sand lipstick in Mocha, I'm pretty sure I still have this. It is one of my favorite MAC lipsticks. Lip pencil and Beat, honestly, I'm not sure if I still have that one because it's like this deep-ish purple color and like purple red. I'm not sure if I kept it. Chestnut still have, Burgundy still have, Courant, I think I gave that away. It's like a really deep purple color. Cherry I still have, Amplify Lipstick in Half and Half, that is a beautiful lipstick. I would repurchase that and I'm pretty sure I decluttered it because it was bad. Viva Glam Rihanna 1, there is no picture but I don't have it, I just don't. Amplified lipstick in Up the Amp, don't have that. And matte lipstick in Chili, that is still in my collection. It is a beautiful, like, muted red brick shade. Beautiful. Remember how I said I was, like, giving myself a pat on the back for not purchasing from January to October? Now we're going to get into the why it just doesn't matter. On the same day... <laughs> October 3rd, I made another purchase in the amount of $132. Just do the math. Just do the math, like quick, simple math. Those two orders combined were a little over $600. I'm, I'm disappointed in myself, I really am. It's not that I regret this, these purchases because I know at the time it made me happy, but now that, now that I've gotten rid of a lot of them, it's like, man, what could I have spent that money on? Like, where could I have traveled to? You know what I'm saying? First purchase was another Viva Glam Rihanna lipstick, the one in two, number two, the second one, I guess. <laughs> There's no picture, so I can't see it. Amplified lipstick in Violetta, don't have. Matte, smoked purple, I know I decluttered that one. I know it was trendy at the time, but for me, it's just kind of like, why, why? This threw me off. Matte lipstick in Sin. I know I already purchased this. You heard me say it in like the previous one, right? Why did I purchase it again? I have no freaking clue. I also purchased the Pro Longwear Lip Cream. This was in a different tube and it had like a flat top. These are really nice. I actually enjoyed them. They went on very creamy and went down to a matte, but not like a liquid lipstick matte. So I actually enjoyed them. The first one I got was in Perpetual Flame. I don't have any of these anymore, but I'll just name the ones that I really liked. Wasn't the biggest fan of that one. Positively Dashing was a mauve like purplish shade. I loved that one. Matte Lipstick in Candy Yum Yum. I, this was another one like 
I don't understand why I purchased it. I hated the shade and I probably, if I ever mentioned that I loved it, I was lying to myself. I'm going to put that out there, guys. Amplify Lipstick in Morange. I give this one away, but it is a very pretty shade. I'm going to go and I'll, I got to do something real quick and I'm going to be honest since we're just being, we're just being brutally honest right now. I got to go check my pizza on the oven. I'll be right back. Okay guys, we've got to get through this because my pizza is done and I'm hungry. Next purchase was on October 28th. You see, you see what's going on? That's like, what, two and a half, three weeks after? We spent $275, we, I meant I, I spent $275. Add that on to the 600 that I spent earlier in the month. Ridiculous. This is one store, guys one store i'm not saying it like in a bragging way it it's more of like a wtf kind of way i would never do this now i would never do this now studio tech i bought two of these in the shade nc37 this was for my mom because i don't use studio tech heirloom mix lipstick i'm guessing this was a collection in the shade salon rouge doesn't have a picture don't remember it don't have it another one from that collection in tribalist i want to say like something's telling me this was a brown lipstick i might just totally look it up and be like Haha, just kidding but something tells me it was a brown lipstick i don't have that amplify lipstick in fast play i might have it um but if i don't i like it i, I would repurchase it a luster in Mi uh, midi mauve i wish i still had this um it is in my declutter like back to mac bunch i have in my closet but i would repurchase this or back to mac it i'm not gonna repurchase it i'm gonna back to mac it i can back to mac a lot of stuff guys lip liner and auburn still have beautiful another one in mahogany love still have it oak i want to say i still have it but it's not one of my favorites because it doesn't really show up on my lips i have like pigmented like outer perimeters on my lips and it just doesn't look it just doesn't do anything Plum, I still have, beautiful. Cork, I have on today. My favorite MAC lip liner, like top. I usually say like it's my top three, top five, top 10. Like this is my top. I love cork lip liner. Hover is, that one would definitely be top five. Um, Half Red, still have, beautiful. Dervish, beautiful. I use it a lot on this channel. Stone, I'm not sure if I still have this. It's, it's like a gray, gray lip liner and if I have it, it's one of the least used ones. Next purchase, you guys ready for the date? Remember, that one was on October 28th. This next purchase was on November 1st. November 1st, what's that, three days? And the amount, here we go, $368. I don't know who the heck I think I was. I don't know what kind of money I think I had, but it was not, it was not this kind of money, guys. I was probably in debt at the time. I bought some lashes in the number 35. I think at the time this was the most popular pair of lashes from MAC. I got a lash applicator. I still have it. I don't really use it. I told myself I'm going to pull it out because I'm like ruining my tweezers, <laughs> but I still haven't done it. Lashes in the number 43, the oil control lotion, the mini size. I used to really like this one for some odd reason. Same thing with the fast response eye cream. I used to love, I used to love and rave about this and said that I, I think it did wonders. I don't really remember if that holds true, but I know that I really enjoyed it. Lashes in the number 12, cream stick liners. These are some of my favorite lip liners and they stop they discontinued these and it hurts my heart i still have them in my collection they're still good i still use them yes sometimes you will find them on my makeup looks because i still love them i don't know which ones exactly i have but if i know for certain that i do i will mention it i had pink treat rich red enriched port side i'm pretty sure i still have that i don't know how to pronounce this one this is my favorite one don't know how to pronounce it b-e-u-r-r-e -E. anyone help me out uh sublime culture i don't i want to say have it maybe i don't i'm not sure but that one was a pretty shade i think the only reason i might not have it was because it was light cream of spice still have that one mac pro longwear lip liners these these are really good but they stick 
like they're hard to get they're hard to get off be spoken for don't have that is a deep brown high energy i think i might have given that away because i'm sure i kept a lasting sensation bittersweet i think that's another brown one i don't have nice and spicy i don't think i have morning coffee i believe it's the one that i still own absolutely it i love that shade i would repurchase it but i don't own it anymore staunchly stylish this was a popular one but i don't own and etc etc is like a really light lip liner I don't have it anymore and lastly guys last purchase of 2014 on mac was on november 14th two weeks after but the great thing about this last purchase was that i only spent 34 bucks only because you know the past weeks before that i probably spent my whole life away and the two things that I purchased was another Pro Longwear Lip Cream. It's the uh, lipstick in the different tube. And this was in the shade Pro Long. This was a beautiful red, like one of my favorite red lipsticks ever. But it was either Keep This or Keep Russian Red and Ruby Woo. And I just, I can't get rid of those two. I still have them. And then lastly, a matte lipstick in Kinky. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I, I'm, I'm pretty confident again like I might just be totally wrong but I'm pretty confident that was a pink pink lipstick and I remember it being very popular when it came out but I no longer own it and that concludes 2014's purchases or should I say um, the craziness of my Mac purchases I did backtrack from 2010 and look at my other purchases and I've done a lot of damages before then but I just wanted to do five years worth of looking back and the reason I'm saying five is because I've only done a one haul in 2019 and I did a video on it already so we're gonna just look at 14 15 16 17 and 18 like I mentioned I have not looked at the upcoming years how Ever, I think I'm going to put together possibly 15 and 16 because looking at the website it seems that a lot of the history that I have is like 2016 to 2018 at least the ones that are saved so I might do 15 and 16 together and we'll look back at the websites I don't really remember which years were saved in which website or on which website but we're gonna look back at it okay guys that's a whole lot of talking a whole lot of money spending i don't want to say it's a whole lot of regret but it's a whole lot of like wtf what was you thinking and now that i've done this video and we're we just kind of started let everything let everything out get our feet wet a little bit on just these like the spending habits that i used to have i'm ready to get through the other videos i'm actually really excited to see what i purchase I really am. I can't wait to look at those other websites because I don't know what I purchased. I know that I purchased them, but you know, like looking at the amounts, looking at the list, like what were you thinking? It's pretty exciting. It's pretty interesting. So I'm going to go eat my pizza now because it's ready to go. I can just, you know, it's still warm, but I don't have to like, <sighs> Y'all know what I'm talking about when food's hot but it looks too good and you just like, you'd rather just risk being burnt. So thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. If you did enjoy it, I hope you decide to click on the red subscribe button down below. I would really appreciate it. This makeup look can be found on Instagram, first link in the description box down below, and there I will list all the makeup products that I use to put this makeup look together. Lashes free. Till the next video, I hope you all are doing well, taking great care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye guys.